in this guide I will show you exactly how you can add a take profit and stop loss on Bluefin. I will also show you how you can add multiple take profits and stop losses. Before we start, I recommend you go below this video because with the link below this video, you will get to exactly this page where you can create a new Bluefin account. And with this link below the video, you will get a 10% lifetime cashback on trading fees, which means every time you open a trade, you will be paid back 10%, which is a great deal and will give you the best trading fee conditions. I highly recommend you take advantage of this. After creating your account on Bluefin, we can start trading right away. Let's now add a take profit and stop loss on the Bluefin futures trading platform. There are two options. Right now we can add a take profit and stop loss before we even enter a trade. Alternatively, we can add a take profit and stop loss after we have already entered a trade. To get started, let's add a take profit and stop loss before we enter a trade. On the right hand side, you can see the order terminal. This is where we put in the order details. In this case, we want to open a long position with a take profit and stop loss. You can see it says TP slash SL right above the long button. I click on this right here and now we can add a take profit price and a stop loss price. This will be a market order and immediately execute once this price is reached. In this case, let's add a take profit for 68,000. And now let's add a stop loss at 66,700. Now I click on long and we will be immediately in the trade. Now in the trade overview down here, we can see that we do have a take profit and stop loss. If we click on this pencil, we can see the overview. If you have not added a take profit before you open the trade, you can also add a take profit and stop loss after opening the trade. To do so, go to the TP slash SL tab down in the order overview. Click on this plus icon and now we can add a take profit and stop loss after we have already opened the trade without doing it before. We have a few different options here. You can see a drop down which is price percent, PNL in USDT and PNL in percent. But I recommend you just put in the exact price. As we said before, 68,000 as the take profit and the stop loss will be 66,700. Alternatively, you can also change the percentage on the right hand side, which is the thing which I just mentioned here, price percentage, PNL in USDT and PNL in percentage. Price percentage means if Bitcoin moves up 1%, let's do this, we will get out. However, we can also ch choose USDT, which, which means if our trade reaches a PNL of 10 USDT, we will get out. Alternatively, the last option, PNL in percentage, if our position is up 10%, then we will leave the trade. And this will automatically select the price based on your input on the right side. But in this case, we want to select the exact price, which is 68,800. And now we confirm. If you want to add it, you take profit and stop loss, you have two different options. The first option is yet again in the order overview down here by clicking on this pencil. Then you can change the values, for example, change it to 69,000 and then reconfirm it. Very, very simple. The other alternative, which I quite like, um, Bluefin has added this feature in the chart, which offers you to just slide this right here. You can see the TP. I can just take this with my mouse and slide it to the upside and it will immediately change the values of my take profit. We can of course also do the same with the stop loss. Maybe we want to move it to the upside. We can do this as well. You can see a success. So these are the two options you can use to edit a take profit and stop loss. If you want to completely cancel all of your take profit and stop loss orders, you can do this down here again in the order overview by clicking on the pencil. And then you simply get rid of these numbers, no input right here, click on confirm. This will get rid of your take profit and stop loss. Alternatively, you can cancel your orders in the open orders tab down here. You can see we have a position tab and next to that we have an open orders tab. We can click on this right here. And now you have different order tabs here as well. So within these tabs, you have another section of tabs, which is limit and market order. But we want to go to the TP slash SL tab. And now you can see right here, we can on the one side modify it, but we can also cancel it. And in case we have multiple take profit and stop loss orders, we can also click on cancel all. And the third and last option is you can uh, cancel the orders right in the chart. You can see the X button. So we click on this, now you can see the take profit is gone, but maybe we want to cancel it down here. We simply click on cancel all and then we confirm it and now every single take profit and stop loss is gone. If you want to add multiple take profit and stop loss orders, 
For example, maybe you want to take a partial profit. So not the full position will close, but only part of it. Yet again, we go to the TP slash SL button down in the order overview. We click on this plus button and now we have two tabs, entire position, which we used before. And we have partial position, which we will use now. So click on partial and now we can use this slider down here. Let's set this to 50%. And now we put in the price. We want to get out again at 68,000. And the stop loss will be again 66,700. Now make sure that this is set to the right value. In our case, we will exit 50% of the trade. Click on confirm. And now we have a partial take profit. And now what we can do is we can add another take profit and another stop loss yet again down in the order overview down here where we got the TP slash SL pencil. Click on this. Now we have the cancel button, but also the add button. And when we click on add, we can add another take profit and stop loss. Now it is very important to note that this slider only takes into account what would be still available. Okay, so... If we now set this to 50% again, it will actually close 25% of the whole initial position because remember before we had 50% already. So in this case, 50% of 50% is 25%. So that would only close out an overall of 75%. If you want to have two separate take profits and stop losses, the last order must always be 100%, okay? If you don't set this to 100% at your final take profit and stop loss, you will still have a little position open. Now let's put this to 69,000 and the stop loss should be in my case the same. I will put this to 66,700. But maybe you want to add a different stop loss. You can, of course, do this. But in my case, I want to have the same stop loss price, but only different take profit prices. So we click on confirm now. Um, now we can see this is not the second take profit. And we do have two stop loss orders down here. And also, if you want to edit them again down here with the pencil, click on modify but you can also cancel them. And now we can't actually add another one because we are already fully out of the trade. Because remember, in the last order, we already set this to 100%. And lastly, I will show you how you can add a trailing stop loss to your trade. In the order overview, you can see next to TP slash SL, we have a trailing stop function. Click on the plus, and now we are in the trailing stop input field. Here we have two options, variance and activation price. Activation price means that this order will only be activated once a specific price is reached. You don't have to use this. This is only optional, but it's definitely a great addition. The important thing is variance. In case you set the variance to 10%, the stop loss will always be 10% below the highest reach price. That means if Bitcoin reaches 70,000, let's put here 70,000 as activation price, and we set the variance to 10, this will add a trailing stop when we reach 70,000, and the stop loss would be 63,000. Every time Bitcoin goes higher than 70,000, let's say Bitcoin then reaches 80,000, the trailing stop will then be 10% below 80,000. Then again, if we reach 90,000, the stop loss will be at 81,000 because that is 10% below 90,000. We click on confirm and now we do have a trading stop. It is important to note that this trading stop now will only activate once we reach 70,000. As I said before, this is purely optional. If you want to have a trading stop right away, don't use the activation function. Cancel this order on the chart, then again go to the trading stop section, put in 1% for example, which means we always have a stop loss 1% below the highest reach price. Click on confirm. And now the lowest stop loss we will always have is 66,942, which will gradually move up as Bitcoin also moves higher. And as I said before, this will always be 1% below the highest reached price. And that's how you add a take profit and stop loss on Blofin. I showed you all of the different options. If you want to get started with trading on Blofin, I highly recommend you take advantage of the offer that we have in the video description. Because with the link in the video description, you get access to a sign up bonus. But it's getting even better. And that's, in my opinion, the best thing about this. When you use the link below this video, you will get a lifetime trading fee cashback of 10%.
With the link below the video, you will get to exactly this page. And if you really use this code properly by clicking the link below, you will see this text right here. And you can only unlock this with our link below this video. I highly recommend you take advantage of this, especially if you really want to trade on Bluefin. If you want to learn more about Bluefin, you can check out our official website. We have more guides on our website, which is CryptoWinRate.com. Alternatively, you can also watch more videos on our YouTube channel, which we will also leave in the video description.